Hey, Zeus. Hi. How's it going? I really wish that Pretzel had an easier way to adjust the volume because my little keypad dealy, it doesn't work a lot of the time. So, hi. I hope you're doing pretty good today. I am freezing my butt off. It's one to three degrees out today. And I'm very, very cold. I had to go grocery shopping today and uh, I was not prepared for the amount of cold I would be for the rest of the day. So I am finally of a decent temperature. <laughs> But the next time it's this cold, I, I really am not going to go out of the house. Because it took me a long time to recover. Productive day. You've had a productive day? I, yeah, I just went grocery shopping. And, yeah. Dad, Zeus says my dad is driving back up there right now. His flight home was cancelled. Ew! Could he not find tickets for another one, or...? He just needed to be there. I don't, yeah, driving doesn't sound very fun to me. That's a long drive. So, um, this is gonna be a really chill, laid back stream because we're just gonna eat some stuff and then we're gonna make quesadillas. So. Zeus got one and a half weeks ahead in literature homework, and then has been working on Portia. That's cool. <sighs> I've literally been doing nothing other than going grocery shopping. I cleaned a little bit, but not very much. They found tickets for tomorrow morning, but they wouldn't get home till 12.30 a.m. Wednesday. Faster to drive, surprisingly. Hmm. Well, how long does it take to drive? Is it like eight hours or something like that? It seems like it would be more than that. Cause it takes about eight hours to get to Niagara Falls from here. I kind of feel like Florida is longer than that. Hmm. Oh, I'm just very tired. Doing all that stuff in the freezing cold was very challenging for me. I don't, I don't like it. 25 hours, okay. I figured it was longer than that. Hey, Bookworm. I know, right? I would have waited. <laughs> I would never would drive that. Growing up, I heard a lot of people saying that they would drive to Florida to go to vacation, and I'm like, ooh, no thanks. So, I don't like talking about it because it was a traumatic experience, but, um, when MVP and I moved from West Virginia to Midland, really long time ago, um, I tried to change our destination, like our departure destination on some plane tickets from Pittsburgh to Midland in order to go to California. And something got borked and they basically wouldn't let us on the plane. Um, I tried to rebook while we were checking in and I mean, they flat out asked us, why didn't you board the plane in Pittsburgh? And it's like, we're fucking here, dumbasses. <laughs> um, yeah, so we ended up driving from Midland, Texas to San Francisco, California overnight. Um, and then having to do the same thing to get back. I mean, we had valid tickets to go from um, San Francisco to Pittsburgh, but that would not have helped us at all. So. It was never resolved because they were being asshats about it the whole time. But yeah, so I know the feeling of having to drive nonstop and it's not something I would ever do voluntarily again. You gotta drive your car home for the summer, that's 23 each way, yeah. So Rhode Island only requires you to inspect vehicles every two years. That's crazy. We have to do ours once a year. Unless it's an antique. Then it doesn't have to be inspected. Like, period. Of course, they might change that for, for 
for antique cars that are of a modern era. <laughs> like, once the 80s come, but... Hey, Jinx! Yeah, um, there are some states that don't even require vehicular inspections, but... I, I don't recall which ones those are. When I was working at PetSmart, there was a girl from, like, Minnesota or something like that, and that was one of those states that doesn't require it. Yeah, full inspection. Texas did both things. You had a full inspection and an emissions inspection. Florida doesn't do inspections? Okay. See? Not everybody does. Um, yeah, so I forgot to show you guys um, my little freezer pop thingies the last time I streamed. So we made these when we made the no bake cookies. These are those like peanut butter ice cream cups that I made. So they freeze solid. But as soon as you have them out for a few minutes, you can peel this stuff off. I usually just go like this. And then wait a few minutes. And then I can peel this part off and then I eat it like ice cream. Which I guess I'll eat it right now like that. Oh, you were cleaning off your car? Yeah, I did mine on Saturday. No, Sunday? Yesterday? Uh, t 10 o'clock in the morning, I think, when I got up, because it started to snow, like um, icy snow, and I didn't want the snow to become encased in a frozen sheet. Um, so I made sure I took care of that while I could. Um, and. It's been snowing off and on since then, but it hasn't really accumulated anything else. So, um, yeah, I think we made these last, last Monday, Tuesday. Does anyone remember when the, um, the no bake cookies was? Let's see. Four days ago, no, six days ago. Six days ago, that was on Wednesday. Oh yeah, Monday was buffalo cauliflower, okay. Jinx tried to do it this morning for work, but it was too much, so your husband drove you. Well, that's nice. Did it, did it have a sheet of ice encased, encasing the snow? So yeah, if you don't let the, um, the little pop thaw for a little bit, your paper gets stuck. But, looks like it's thin enough. There you go. So you can just kind of like keep this on hand for putting it down if you need to. That's it. It's yummy. <laughs> so, I guess I'll eat this now. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. So, let me let me show you the cheeses. So, you have an idea of what we're looking at taste testing next. This is this is all wet in the dishwasher. So I've already tasted the cheddar -y one. On Thursday, again, I want to thank you for bearing with me because everything did not go to, according to plan. And come on, man. I wanted to do more than I ended up being able to do. And, uh,. Thank you, Jinx, for hosting the stream. So this is the cheddar cheese that I made 
on Thursday. And we have to replace the paper towel. It's very cheesy smelling. So if you remember, and it's very soft. Yee! See, look at that. I did not do it correctly. It did not work the way it was supposed to. So I have to work on my technique. This is very unfortunate. I think the problem was that I had the heat on too high. But you are supposed to be able to slice this. And at the moment, it's just basically a cheesy spread. Why are all my dishes dirty? The point of having a dishwasher is so that they clean the dishes for you. See, this is not supposed to happen. It's supposed to actually be firm. I do have pretzels though. I wonder if it'll taste good if I dip it in pretzels. Dip pretzels in it. So both of these cheeses are very smelly. This one smells like uh, cheddar, but like really smelly. And it's okay, it's edible, but you can't you can't slice it on anything. So basically, this is the cheese that we're gonna use to make the quesadilla. So we're gonna do a melt test. So as it stands right now, the flavor is okay. But the texture leaves a lot to be desired. Below zero tonight, too. Great. That's just great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Said no one ever. Okay. Need a palate cleanser. It keeps trying to snow more here, but it doesn't stay. <laughs> Rusty's looking at me like. Is that peanut butter? Why are you not sharing with Rusty? Okay, so this one is the one I'm kind of worried about. It smells like yogurt. So this is the one that got dehydrated, you guys. It has a rind on top. And it's like soft in the middle. So the title for this is Cashew Brie. And it doesn't look anything like real brie. Other than the fact that it's soft. This is what it looks like, close up. It 
I also hate everyone who is living in more than 50 degrees, Jinx. <laughs> So somebody I know on Facebook yesterday, of course, posted one of those things like, if you live in an area that has cold weather, don't complain. <laughs> what do you expect? Why don't you move? And of course, she was getting lots of really negative comments from people about that opinion. So I'm obviously in agreement with everyone else commenting negatively on it. Okay, so when I tried this on Thursday, it just tasted kind of like cashews. It seriously smells like yogurt, so there is an aging happening, but I'm not positive that it's gonna have flavor or that I'm gonna like it. But I'm gonna try it because I bought cashews specifically for this purpose. I am very scared. <laughs> Jinx says, I can complain if it's cold and I can complain if it's hot. That's right. That's called free speech. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna lick it before I put it in my mouth. <laughs> So far, it's not offensive. That's good. It doesn't taste like cashews anymore. Yeah, that's yummy. I don't understand it. very strange. That's very strange to me. How does that work? It was just cashews and water, I think. No, oh, aquafaba cashews. And there's salt on the outside. Okay, so it was cashews, coconut oil, aquafaba, and salt. So this is what it's supposed to look like in the book. Um, so basically, the way that the author makes it was in a springform pan. And I don't have any that were that small, so I made some molds out of tin foil. But basically, what you do, you mix it up and you put it in the form, and you dehydrate it for 24 hours at like 90 degrees. Did that, and then when I popped them out, put them in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So after that, it recommends that you put salt around the outside um, and then do that every couple of days. So it says it keeps <clears throat> smooth the cheese surfaces with the rubber spatula. So basically anything that doesn't have that rind on it, it is pretty close to the picture. If it had been in a springform pan, like I'm sure that the cheese would have like retracted a little bit from the edge and then there would have been more of a rind around the whole thing but clearly according to, to the directions it's not supposed to have a rind everywhere because you're supposed to smooth it out so that's kind of what I did I you know smoothed it out with my fingers and then put the salt on it <laughs> MVP is on her way home um but yeah so it says smooth the cheese surfaces with a rubber spatula if desired Place in a humidifier or wine cooler. So basically it's like continuing to age and you're controlling the temperature so that it doesn't spoil. Rub fine sea salt over your cheese after a few days, then repeat every few days or so to prevent black mold from appearing, which sounds so tempting. But that's it. And it 
really doesn't taste like cashews anymore. Very fascinating. I'm gonna have MVP try it when she gets home. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give a couple of these away because I have four of them. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get through all of them. Especially because they're getting a little watery. There's a couple other vegans at work that I might be able to give them to. Now my hands are all sticky. So that's very interesting. I was prepared to be really disappointed and grossed out. But it's actually really good. In fact, it's peculiarly good. <laughs> so now I might have to invest in a, a wine cooler in order to uh, continue aging my cheeses. That's fascinating. <laughs> I think I'm gonna save this for later. If MVP is on her way home, there's no reason why we can't have dinner when she gets here. That's very cool. Now I'm excited to try the rest of the recipes. Hi, Cable! We are, we're eating our cheeses. So, this is the cashew brie. And I checked on it on Saturday, and I was a little scared because it smelled kind of like yogurt, which was not something I was expecting. Oh, thank you, Cable. Cable Net Dragon has redeemed 200 beans so that I might eat a cookie. Uh, yeah, uh, Bookworm, it is from the new cookbook. It's from This Cheese is Nuts, this one. <clears throat> so yeah, um, after 24 hours, you're supposed to open it up and put salt around them. Um, so I did that. And when, when I opened the container up, it smelled like yogurt. So I'm like, I didn't put anything in here that would help them age. You know, like probiotics or miso or anything. So I was a little scared. Because <laughs> I thought it would taste like yogurt or something. But it doesn't. It actually tastes really good. It doesn't taste like cashews anymore. It just tastes nice. But... There's a lot of other um, multi-step cheeses in here that I'd like to try. Like this is cashew camembert and you basically make it the same way, but it's just flavored differently. In fact, I was so scared to try it that I looked online to see if other people had opinions of the recipes. And a lot of people were saying that it's really good. And one person <laughs> basically spent $800 on getting supplies and then said that she only liked two recipes out of it. So I was a little worried, but I think it's great. Hmm. 
So, I forgot I actually need two pans. Because I'm going to cook down my spinach. I know. So she probably bought a blender and a food processor and the wine cooler and all kinds of other things. In addition to the nuts and flavorings and stuff like that. So, because if you, if you look at the beginning of the book, it has like equipment recommendations, essential equipment. It doesn't even say recommendations. It says essential equipment. And the Vitamix is the first thing. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Food processor, dehydrator, um, a cocoa jack, which is basically something that you use to open coconuts. Chef's torch, molds, cheesecloth, spatulas, ice cream scoop, and then nuts. So if you buy all of those things, I can see where it would definitely get expensive. I know, Lord help that person. <laughs> Why would you do that? Like, so I made this, but I didn't buy a Vitamix in order to do it. I just used my Nutribullet and it's fine. I'm sure there are some, some recipes in the book that would suffer a little bit, but I think this is really good. They must love cheese. Well, apparently they didn't really like the recipes very much, according to their results anyway. And their insistence that they followed the instructions 100%. Ah, uh, yeah, followed directions exactly. Aging in the fridge instead of a wine cooler. Yeah, that's not what it says. <laughs> it literally says, It literally says, if desired, place in a humidifier or a wine cooler. And then it just says to rub salt over it every few days. I don't think it's going to last that long. I am late. You are a little late, Mama Bean, but the only thing we've really been e doing is eating. <laughs> Hi, late. <laughs> so... Um, I'm still eating cashew brie and I was scared that it was gonna be terrible because it smelled like yogurt um, but it's actually very nice it doesn't have a super overwhelming flavor or anything but it does no longer taste like cashews which is one of the things that used to bother me when people would be like try this recipe for vegan cheesecake it's cashews and lemon juice yeah, no, it's really good. So I'll probably give this recipe to you to try out and see what you think. Um, but I'm going to try it again, getting some little mini pans to use instead of the tin foil, because I expect that it will actually work a lot better. I'm going to have, um, I almost called MVP Clem. <laughs> I'm going to have MVP uh, try it when she gets home. She's on her way. And true story, you guys, back when she started calling me Clem, I used to call her Clem back. So it's not like it come, came out of the blue that way. <laughs> we used to both call each other Clem. Because we are, that's part of my last name. So. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it would taste gross, and it doesn't. It does taste a little sour, but it's really good. In fact, it's really good. All of the cheeses do look fabulous. And what's funny is that it doesn't seem like they are very different from one another. So it's very interesting that they look so different and would seemingly taste so different. So I would consider this a big success, but the other cheese is, is an epic failure. But it's still edible. 
it's just not firm. So I'm gonna use it to make tortillas. I mean quesadillas. But you'll see, um, you'll see what I mean when I go to put the cheese on uh, the tortillas. It's very soft. You're supposed to be able to cut it and shred it and stuff like that. <clears throat> and you can basically dip dip things into it and like spoon it out. Jinx says, I can see McVeigh now, all of us dis in Disney screaming, our screen names confusing everyone around us, yes. Yeah, but at least some of them sound like actual names, like Clem sounds like a name. Jinx, I mean, nickname, yeah, obviously. Cable, I mean, I can see the potential. <laughs> <laughs> is cable internet your thing? Maybe that's what is right. You know, like, <laughs> rip me. <laughs> I started labeling things at work with Clem now, so it has become me. Fluffy. <laughs> that's cute. That's a cute nickname. So I made some other food today after I got home from shopping and I've been making a lot of food recently on my days off and I just, I had a lot of, I had a big problem just making like rice and stuffed squash. I had to stop there because I don't need any more food. I don't need anything other than that. <laughs> Bookworm, we do. <laughs> I, I would not call Fluffy an exotic dancer's name, personally. Bean is a good name. I like the name Bean. <laughs> okay, 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 focus, focus, focus. Hello. So I'm basically just going to saute the spinach down. And then add the chickpeas. And that's going to be the filling for my quesadillas. Food does not need to be fancy, in case you guys were wondering. <clears throat> Then I'm gonna have these beans on the side. So speaking of bean, bean, this is my cheddar cheese. Remember how I cooked too fast on Thursday? It's just mushy. It tastes fine, but it did not solidify. Yes, bookworm, food just needs to be yummy, not fancy. <laughs> So I'm still gonna do a melt test with it, which is why we're having quesadillas. I'm just gonna spread it on here and then put my filling in there. And hopefully MVP doesn't hate it. Yeah, I was dipping pretzels in it. It does just look like a cheese spread. I have made them before and they were bricks. This just cooked, I think it cooked too fast was part of the problem.
My spinach got stuck. So I just put a little pepper on these chickpeas. And then I'm gonna mash them a little bit just so they have a nice like flat texture when they're in the quesadilla. Probably cooked enough. Okay. Ogie dogie. What's happening in chat? Use it as a spread. I haven't missed much. <laughs> I was thinking about making a lentil soup today, but I have an early day tomorrow, like I did last week. I'm not gonna stream. I'm gonna stream on Thursday, and I'm gonna make that nut butter pie. Um, when Ski subbed many months ago, um, her wheel spin was for a dessert stream. And even though I've streamed desserts um, since then, I haven't like done one in Ski's honor. So that's what I'm doing. I ran it by Ski, um, and the nut butter pie is a go. Yes, the nut butter pie, yummy. I'm gonna make it a little bit differently um, because I already have a jar of peanut butter. Um, last time, I basically just did like a creamy peanut butter and the one that I have um, that I'm going to use is traditional but it'll still be good. So I'm just gonna put this in the pan. And we're gonna hope that it cooks and the cheese melts but doesn't turn into water. Just a slice? Yeah. <laughs> I actually tried to find like cookies I could use for the crust, but I didn't see any that I wanted. So I'm gonna make the crust from the recipe. You did cashew nut butter. I'm just gonna do regular peanut butter. When I made it at first, like the first time, it was a chocolate soy nut butter. But, um, I'm just gonna use regular peanut butter. I also wanted to try to find um, two small pans so I could do one, like make half of the recipe and do one before and then put the other one, like make the other one on stream. And then when I was done, serve it. So I have to find some, some pans first. You did chocolate peanut butter? That's what I did, but it was made out of soy. It's very good. A lot of vegan cheeses, uh, cheese recipes, have this sort of texture when they don't have additives in them. But the whole point of me making the one on Thursday was that it had firming agents in it, the capocarrigenin being one. So it's really disappointing that this didn't firm up. Because that stuff's not cheap. 
Yes, I remember. I remember you making it, Jinx. I just used soy in mine because it was free. I got a free, free jar. Look out, baby! My dad got me um, a gift card for more cheese making chemicals, but I haven't used the one that he got me um, like two years ago. So I need to use that up before. Okay. Before I order any more. I was actually thinking about ordering a mold instead. Um, so that I have spring form mold to use instead of the the glass pan that I used. So I might do that. So yeah, um, I'm only doing the two streams this week. Um, even though I have a couple of early days, Rusty has a appointment on Wednesday. So I'm gonna take care of that. I don't wanna overburden myself. I still need to um, finish putting up the shelves in the living room. So I'm gonna make that my focus. Streaming today, streaming on Thursday, bringing the doggo to the vet. And uh, cleaning. Yeah, I want him to get checked out. It's like his annual appointment, so he's still gnawing his feet a little bit, but he's not um, acting like he's in pain. And I've been trying to make sure I look at them to make sure that he um, doesn't have any wounds like he did before, but. I'm just worried, you know? He's a little scamp. I'm talking about you. What's happening out there? Is MVP home? Is she home? She's home. Yeah. Thursday, Zeus. Um, probably four, but maybe 4.30 because I do have to work later. Yes. So tomorrow I'm gonna focus on cleaning and stuff and Wednesday is the doggo appointment. Thursday is my other stream. <clears throat> okay, great. I left a bag of trash outside hoping that she would take it to a trash can, so we'll see if that's something that happens. <laughs> I'm tired of being outside. It's unlocked! Hi MVP! Can you make it around the the lamp? Let's find out. Do they want to see how cold it is? <laughs> this is how cold it is outside! <laughs> I have a funky cheese for you to try when you're done getting undressed. Great. Ooh. That's not what I meant. I'm gonna have to bring some of it to work though because it's too moist in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. This is for like people who like cheese. It made so much of it. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna have to make half of a batch <laughs> and just for a party or something. Cause there's three more of these in the refrigerator. Sure. Crackers. <laughs> yes, yes, you've got some fun here. Ah, look at me! <laughs> so, should I, can I do that? Mm -hmm. I know, right? It's a cheese! That's the one that I opened it up and I was like, what do I do? <laughs> I eat it, apparently. Yeah. The other cheese uh, is a dipping cheese. <laughs> it was supposed to be firm, but it did not firm up. And that's what we're having in our quesadillas. 
So we'll see if it melts or if it's just a cheese spread. Yeah. Oh, it looks melty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. Who's in your kit? Jinx, Zeus, Bookworm, Cable. You should use dark background. Dark mode. <sighs> then you can see Cable's name better. But I know who that is. It's this yellow. Yes. You can't read it. It's Cable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they like my hair. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I've been I've been having it. It's good. I I already read about to see whether or not you could freeze aged cheese and it's not recommended. It's for the same reason why you don't want to do yogurt, which we found out. Is because it kills some of the cultures and will change, like it'll obliterate the flavor. It's weird. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring two of them to work to see if Tyler wants to try one, if Brittany wants to try one. Um, just to. Recipe have a piece? Uh, I think so. I don't think there's anything. It's just cashews and dog. Aquafaba. The aquafaba. Yeah. Hey. All right, well, you uh, ready for food? Where's the other plate? Plate. I don't see another plate. You guys, I got two plates. One plate. <laughs> the plate is a lie. Hold that. Oh, I don't, I think the pizza cutter is still dirty. Y'all, I'm gonna let you in on the secret and that secret is that I do not always do the dishes. Ha. So. <laughs> What's the other half of the secret? That you don't do any of the dishes? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, the cheese test. Oh, it's not stringy. It it did melt though. Look, it's seeping out, seeping out of the edge. Jinx says dishes. What? Here you go. Try it. You just throw them away by new ones. That's how. I That's how you want to do it. I swear, I got two plates. Does it taste cheesy? It's not very cheesy. This is cheesier than that. Different book. Superior book. Okay. Duly noted. <laughs> well, it's yours. I'll eat mine when it's done. Do you want any um, refried beans to go on the side? There's ch chickpeas in it too, so. I just thought you might want a side dish. Into the refried beans? Yeah. Yes. Bean Got it already. I still don't feel very good, so I'm probably just gonna have my quesadilla. What? I was gonna ask you how many degrees it is outside. I said between one and three. <laughs> There's all two of them. Both, we have both degrees. Fahrenheit. Need some mushrooms, that's right. Can you give me water in here? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my gosh. So I guess the next time I do a vegan cheese making stream, I'm just gonna make more cheeses out of there. Yeah. The only thing is that like the the point of this one, this cookbook, is that it's supposed to be melty 
and uh, that one doesn't use the carrageenan, so it gets soft, but it doesn't melt and stretch. You want to show them my chips? MVP was eating these today? Harvest Snaps, black bean snack crisps with habaneros. Habanero. And how many can you eat before you have to stop? I don't know, probably like 10 or so. Portion control. Portion control chips. You want a chip <clears throat> one? Uh, no. Oh. You remember the buffalo cauliflower incident, correct? Yeah. Sizzling beans. Who started eating Takis and can't stop? Once you pop, you can't mm -hmm. stop. They're so lime and delicious, but then your face is melting. Oh, I guess Rusty was on the camera everybody's saying hello. Oh, he's <laughs> down there! Yeah, he's down there. <laughs> and now he's like, what? What'd I do? Well, I'm trying to mix it up in the event that that spreads out the spiciness. You want more? Thanks, ma'am. You're welcome, dear. Oh, well, Cable says pretty sure Zeus has mentally snapped from school and has a Zeus bean personality. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> rusty, rusty, rusty. Oh, my little bean heart. Oh, okay, now I see. <laughs> that was Zeus saying, oh, my little bean heart. <laughs> I know now. All right. <clears throat> Dinner is served. So yeah, you guys, um, that's pretty much all I have. So let me try this out and give it a minute to cool off. So let me take a look and see who else is streaming right now. Maybe we can give somebody else a nice raid. Some good choices to choose from. We've got Gussie playing Portia. Ducks is playing Astroneer. <laughs> Cattails is playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Hmm. <laughs> well, I've been having a great time watching Ducks play Astroneer, so I think I'm gonna do that. But let me try this quesadilla. So if you look at the cheese, it's just kind of like a cheese mass. It is like spreading a cheese dip on things, which is unfortunate. So I don't know if my emulsion broke or I didn't have an emulsion, um, but whatever I did, it was wrong. <laughs> but let me eat some. Spinach is hot. It's good. I love spinach. Oh my gosh, that spinach is delicious. Mmm. I like spinach. That spinach, though, it is, right? <laughs> Mama Bean says I'll take a vegan cheese mass all day. How is the cheese taste test? Okay, so we are concluding. Thank you, tomorrow. 
Uh, so I made two cheeses on Thursday, um, and one of them was not a success. It tastes okay, but it did not get to the point where it melts when it heats up. It's more like a cheese dip. So I'm still using it, and it tastes okay, but see how it is melting? I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Melting and squishing out. And it tastes all right, but it's not the same consistency as a store-bought vegan cheese. So this one, the cashew brie, is excellent. And I don't know how. <laughs> so the, all of this is, is cashews, yes, cheese dip is good, <laughs> is cashews, coconut oil, aquafaba, and salt. And it was dehydrated for 24 hours. It has this nice little rind on it and then refrigerated and then I rolled it in some salt per the instructions and it doesn't taste like cashews anymore before it's cheesy uh, before I put it in the dehydrator I tasted it and it just tasted like cashews and now it's good like it tastes like cheese so these are two different cookbooks this cookbook one. <laughs> so I'm gonna try some more recipes out of this. It's, this cheese is nuts. It's a plant-based cheese book. So it has less additives, more natural stuff in it. Yes, witchcraft, basically. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm gonna make some more recipes out of this book in the future. And if you're interested in purchasing a copy yourself, I installed the Amazon overlay thing. And if you click on it, there's a tab called Streamed Cookbooks, and you can find it in there for your convenience. And it will also support the stream if you purchase it. Cashews to cheese seems like alchemy. Yes, so I've tried making um, like cashew cheese sauce like mac and cheese cheese sauce, and I wasn't really happy with it. It was so many years ago, I don't even remember what it tasted like. Um, and I made, like, I made a recipe for cashew cheese from a blog that was kind of like this. You basically left it sitting on the top of your refrigerator for a few days, and it was good, but it wasn't, it definitely wasn't like this, so this is great. However she came up with this idea, it was perfect. It's tangy and creamy. And the only problem is that I have too much. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to let you go. I will see you guys on Thursday at 4 or 4.30. When I will be making peanut butter pie no bake peanut butter pie really easy and really tasty it's one of Zeus's favorite recipes so join me for that and we're gonna go raid mr. don't fight ducks let him know that you came and let him know what you thought of the cheese because that's what I'm gonna do in case he asks I mean don't just say don't just say a bunch of stuff about cheese <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for coming. Um, I have this thing I just started doing, so bam. Do that stuff on there. <laughs> but thank you guys so much, um, and I will see you on Thursday. And yeah, bye bye <laughs> <laughs>